everybody. We're going to be feeding Lucy for today. She's just had a shed, and while she is constricting her prey, <laughs> the frozen thawed rat, we will go ahead and talk about her enclosure and how I have it set up. Let's see. Pretty sure she's a hungry one. Come on. Oh, yeah. You want it, don't you? And there you go. So we can all watch what she does. I have the upside down bull hide you just saw. She also has this log as a little kind of tunnel way and a water dish hide that she uses pretty frequently. Yes, she does. I like to keep a few different things to keep track of the temperature. There's a cord for the thermostat. I use a forest floor bedding and I use some sphagnum moss around. I would point at it, but she's eating. Let's not touch her. Yeah, she'll bite. And I have some other fake plants. And I use a couple of uh, weighted old fish tanks. To help keep the lid down so she doesn't escape. Mm. Now, um, I'm going to let you guys go and we'll come back when she actually decides to start eating. I'm going to go ahead and cover up it. And wait till I see her eating. <laughs> hey guys. Sorry the video is coming out so late. But my male corn snake has been... Just giving me a hard time with feeding lately. I expected it while he was shedding. Now he has shed. Still just refusing to eat. But I figured I would go ahead and film the enclosures to go ahead and show you what they look like. So here is my male Hades enclosure. He loves to use that log right there. There's a little nub on the other side he loves to hide in. He loves to burrow under that water bowl. I had another hide for him on this side. He was just never using it. He chose to always go under that water bowl. And he likes his little cave over there too. That should last him a good while. If not his whole life. And... Let me go ahead and show you what I have for the females. And hers is not completely set up yet. Working on getting her another hide as well. So this is my females. I know you can hear what my son is watching in the background. We've got her water bowl. I want to put another hide right over there. And she tends to actually really hide in these leaves. Or right in that little birdhouse I got her. I took out all the sharp, filed everything down so it's nice and smooth, it's ceramic, it stays nice and warm. And she likes to go inside it and just chill out. Again with the no light heat lamp. And I kind of have it rigged up so that way I have a few different heights to work with. And that's what I do for my corn snakes enclosures. Now, what I do do is I have multiple thermostats in each of the enclosures with humidity gauges on them, all electronic, all with five-star reviews. And I check those consistently throughout the day. I'm home all day, so I can. And I'll check them throughout the night, too, because I just run off of almost no sleep, as I'm sure you guys can see. But I just, I love these guys so much. I keep my corn snakes right around 50% humidity. I go to about 85 on the warm side and 75 on the cool side. They're both really small right now. One has fed, the other one hasn't, so I'm trying not to really handle him right now. So that way he can be calm and not stressed. 
maybe give them a little bit longer before I take them to the vet and see if there's anything necessarily wrong. These are my first snakes. He shed all in one piece. He's normally a fantastic eater. But for whatever reason, it's going on almost a month now that he just won't eat. I expected the two weeks of shed for him not to eat. He missed last feed. His next feed is coming up in a few days. And I'm a little bit concerned. I might try a live pinky just to see if maybe that will get a meeting again. I'm sure everybody will have their own comments about why I shouldn't do it or if it will be a good idea. But I figured with pinkies, don't even have teeth yet, should be safe. As long as I get him eating, that will be great. And I feed all my snakes frozen thaw, typically. <laughs> oh, goodness. In my face, as always. As you can see, I kind of have a little colored bag system going here with a whole bunch of frozen rodents to last just a couple months. I have them all individually bagged, sealed as tight as I can, and try to make sure that I give them the best care I can. I have pretty basic setups. I had more in Hades' cage, but he escaped, so I'm trying to figure out how to decorate it in a way he can't get up to the lid again so easily and a better way to secure the lid <laughs> before I start putting the taller things back in there maybe even just get a different lid altogether. I hope everybody has enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's coming out late I had to separate the days have a great day bye